I'm excited to introduce a special conversation featuring the Marketing Mavens, a dynamic group of women in marketing who are passionate about helping businesses thrive. And I'm also happy to call them my friends. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. I'm Christina Stubblefield and every week we help you unleash your business's potential, boost your visibility and maximize your time. Now, before we dive in, let me give you a bit of a background. The Marketing Mavens are a collaborative group dedicated to supporting each other in business growth, sharing insights and tackling challenges together. Did I say that I'm also glad to call them my friends? Today, we're discussing a topic near and dear to every business owner's heart, the importance of having all the right pieces in place for success, from the right people to the right software and tools, and also strategy. Every element plays a crucial role in shaping the trajectory of a business. In this conversation, we explore how businesses can optimize their operations by ensuring they have the essential components in place. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, get ready for valuable insights and actionable advice from this insightful discussion. Without further ado. Okay, everybody. My friends here, marketing friends are here to have a round table discussion and Brittany's gonna kick it off. I'm gonna ask them a question and we're gonna have a conversation about it. Are you ready? I am. What is one thing that you think your customers are struggling with right now? This may be a different topic than what you think, but mine's actually gonna be they do not have the right people in the right seats. So my quick example is I talked to someone who was talking to me about marketing and mentioned that they just hired a marketing manager for their company to help them with these things. And I talked to them again later on. I said, how is that new marketing person doing? And they said, well, they thought marketing was just creating fun images and Instagram posts and reels and videos and aren't really excited that once they post that, I'm asking, how did it do? Are we getting any business from it? So I think that this, that position, yes, related to marketing, but I'm kind of seeing that they're not hiring the person with the right characteristics for the right job. People think that you should only get a creative, fun person for marketing, which mm -hmm. we all are. But we are also analytical, yeah. data-driven, problem solvers. And we know that, yes, this amazing video that was so fun to make has to do something. So how are we tracking it? What's the call to action? What are we going to do to differentiate this? We're going to split test this bitch. All of these things you're thinking about. But someone who doesn't have that personality trait, doesn't want to do those things, or doesn't see the job as that, or even have the knowledge for it, or even have the knowledge mm -hmm. for it, is really weighing these companies down. So now they hate marketing even more because they don't think it works. And I have to tell them, I'm sorry, but that person you paid at 40K a year didn't know anything about marketing, was yes, coming at a lower rate straight out of college and those classes helped them, they had no real life experience, nor understand all the capacities that go into it to make sure that job is functioning well. So that's what I've seen is that more people are investing and investing maybe in in-house people, but not actually qualifying. That is, will that person 100% take the job of that freelancer or that agency that I was going to use to do that and do it very well? And that could be for HR, project management, customer service, anything. But I'm really seeing some unqualified people in seats that are ruining companies and they're not changing or adapting quick enough to cut the loose meat or whatever. Dead weight. Dead weight. There's so many things to talk about. And that's a great topic because working with small businesses or entrepreneurs that it's one person or maybe just two or three people that don't feel like or have reason to believe they cannot bring on another full-time person that are turning to virtual assistants, VAs, or admins that are not necessarily in an office. And I'm not knocking those because I do believe that they're very beneficial. However, not just going out and getting one because a person says they're a VA. What roles do they need that target what they have on their plate right then? Like what area in the business do they need help with? And when we're talking about marketing, I'm hearing even people say, well, I guess I need to go out and get a person that's on Instagram or TikTok all day, but has no marketing background, I doesn't know about the algorithms that. like yes is there a time and a place for a person to help you put together short form video absolutely so interesting that you bring that topic up i know you have something to say about that same topic 
she's talking no, about. No, I'm just over here as a strategic guide and a business coach. I'd be like, I can't. I don't have space for that. Okay, <laughs> moving on to <laughs> Amy. You have some feedback on yes. this topic. You know, bad, bad hires make your business better. Regardless of what seat they're in. They don't? No. But just putting an ass on a seat to help? What? I know. Or because your niece doesn't. I love oh, that. Wow. My niece, okay. my nephew, they're young. And because they're young. I love that and even more so because I'm old, right? But every young person knows what the hell no, 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 no. I think I'm with a phone in their hand doesn't mean I know how to market it or even do social media right. marketing. It's, it's perfect because you see them wasting dollars. Time. time. Precious time yeah. they're wasting. It's not good for either any of them in the business, right? That person doesn't feel valued because they don't know what they're doing. And then it starts putting doubt in their mind. Am I good at all at anything? And the business owner's frustrating. This brings me right around to you where I have conversations with people about strategic. Oh, yeah. Because when I get involved with them on their tech stack, going through, like, they don't have a business system. Well, it's just me. I don't have time to learn something else. Oh, it's just me. I can't utilize the social media or market my business because I'm running my business. Well, okay. So when you ask the question about one thing they're struggling with the most right now, what has been consistent with my clients lately is that they are behind the times on their tech, on even using social media. Like Facebook is not a fad. So I'm caught up on that. But even emails. Email even emails. They system. haven't been using emails. Mm-hmm. They haven't been using Facebook. They haven't been using Instagram. They haven't been using Google Business Profile. They haven't been using jack crap out there. Or CMS system. And their website is from 2014. Nothing's been updated in the background. Last five websites. Uh-huh. Nothing Sorry. has been updated in the back end of this. It's not my website, by the way. No. It's not. <laughs> But like, it takes, and, and what you know, all we have to do is update some code, code and shit. Whoa. Code. What? In some cases, you only have to update code. You're just what? updating pictures or wording. Well, right. It could be the or just the thing in the Von Beer recipe that says 2015. 2014. 2014. PHP. PHP update. It really wasn't that hard. I just needed to go to hosting and say, hey, this needs to be updated. They got it updated. Chat GPT can help you. Open stuff. Gates for all kinds of traffic. Well, what is that? Yes. The answer is yes. So <laughs> what was the main problem? Ignorance or a lack of something? <laughs> well, and both, right? Because yeah, the motive, motive. I, I know what she's talking about. I'm sorry. Because if we as a business owner and a solo owner, yeah. can we turn the fan on? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> if we get stuck in our lane too long, we also have blinders yeah. on. We don't And they're see. not, they don't come off. They They're like stuck up. on in one direction. And that is also a hindrance to your business. You yeah. have to stop strategically. You need to stop and look around a little bit. Take that off rest. Stop at the rest area. You need to break and look around at the options. Are you going in the right direction? Do you have the right people on the bus with you? And are they in the right seat on the bus? Do you have the right bus? Does the bus still function? <laughs> are the wheels fall off? The bus and air conditioning, or do you start on the or even gas in the bus to go and work? Right. Trying to go. All of these well, things kind of feed into every little piece of the business, which can add up to a lot of frustration. But if you don't stop to look at the bigger picture of what's not working out along this pathway in your systems, in your customer journeys, and all this stuff, and then it's up to us as the owner, we have to step back to look at the bigger picture. But that one struggle is that they're refusing to do this to be able to keep up in business in general. Okay. Somebody and said this. Right. Hey, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have you okay. come back to this. But one of these things that someone said to me, and I'm not saying I'm a super fan of it, but it makes the point. People are putting band-aids on bullet holes. Yes. yes. And going back to what you originally said in your statement there about not having the right people in the right seats or in the right positions. You're putting a Band-Aid potentially on something by just putting a person in that seat. Because if you don't look at the bigger picture, to you know these are three areas in our business that we need help with, whether you find a person to deal with those three, or do you need three people? That doesn't mean three full-time people in today's age. Yeah, you know, get a big yeah. person. Yeah. If only there were tools to help you automate certain <laughs> things as well in your business. <laughs> it's 2014, so we don't have AI yet. Uh, you know, I like, I used to joke about this. I used to joke about this. But I've really been taking people all the way back. Let's 
we're going to go, well, we're going to do a complete audit of your business. I need to know when someone walks in that door, this happens. When someone goes to your website, this happens. When someone finds you on social media, this happens. All of those entry points start the client journey, the client experience, which I talk to people about all the time. And that is a big gap right there in client experience that you can set yourself apart from the competition. Why? People are flying by the seat of their pants in business. They are just doing what business comes their way. They're just handling it. There's not a lot of goal planning, strategy. Unfortunately, it's gotten better. But also on the other side of that is there should be a whole strategy with your tech stack. Because these softwares nowadays work with each other. There's ways that you need two or three softwares. So there's no way around it, but there's tools that help them communicate. And when you talk about technology, people start to think, well, that's either A, I've got to get rid of someone. Essentially, I had that came up the other day. I'm going to be getting rid of a position. Wouldn't go right to that place. Or I've got to take so much time to learn this. No work forward, backwards, inside and out before I can put it to use. Those two things are completely false. And it's crazy now how much tech fits into all of that. And being open, I just did an audit of someone's tech stack a couple weeks ago. And if I could remember the exact number, I would share it with you. But they were paying out monthly in software and they weren't using 20% of it. But you know what? They thought they would need it one day. They thought they would get to it. Well, can't you come back and resubscribe? Yes, you can. But that's a mistake that people make is without a plan, how you're going to use that software. How is it going to get interleaved in your business? There's so much. Here's one tip and then we close. Draw it out. Literally take, and here's where the start is, and then go to the next step. And then what? Let me see you're growing. I just put pictures on it. But if you start here on any subject, content, what, what, Customer journey, your tag stack. Like if your customer journey requires them to hit a landing page, well then what? So let's look at that landing page. That landing page is here, but then what? And what if they don't do this thing? Well, then here's this option. And then what? And then what? And I need, because what this kind of a system, this chart's going to do is tell you what pieces of software you what, need. And you know what? Can I steal your chart right quick? Yeah, For most of the time, I start down here. What is the end? Okay, let's work back. backwards because there's maybe steps missing. Maybe there's too many steps. Uh, did you know that there's software that does 80% of these steps? Potentially. But until you take the time to work this out. Yeah. And I actually do the, a lot of whiteboarding, even on Zoom sessions that, and I you sparked this conversation from what you said, but people think that they can't bring someone in. They can't do this and they can't do that. You're not even giving yourselves a shot. And they probably haven't looked at their budget to even know if they have them or not. Oh, well, you heard of the B word. Well, that's that's, a whole, a, that's our next topic. topic. That's a whole yeah. lot of problems. Great. Thank you for the great topic. Thank you for branching it out how you did. Greatly appreciate it. If you don't recognize these people right here, my friends, we've become known as marketing mavens, and we get together on a regular basis. We try at least quarterly, and we are all in marketing. So you can catch us on my podcast, which is Small Business Success Talk. Absolutely. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you were able to take something away from this.